This podcast will be great if James Haskell effed off. This is mean comments. So I get, I get every now and then I get some amazing mean comments sent to me. Rule number one is never look on the Daily Mail um, comment section, but there are some absolute gems and some amazing feedback for our podcast, The Good, The Bad and The Rugby. Um, this is from uh, Minty14. Why is Haskell allowed to spoil the podcast? I don't know. I own a business, so I can't, <laughs> not like I can do about it, Chief. This is a good one. This is in, by Trevor Sorby. Um, this is entitled Mediocre. Tins would go well to start his own rugby podcast with Will Greenwood. I'd much rather just listen to their insights. Hask has something to offer on rugby front, but it's just a bit of a dildo. <laughs> I can't be asked to listening to any of the other, other rugby stuff they discuss. And if Alex Payne could pull his head out of his guest's ass, we'd be able to hear him better. Bit tight on Payne there. Uh, this is entitled Better Options Available, and this is from Tom Bowler, 82. From talking over one another, Haskell being uncompromisingly annoying, Tins' nasal breathing to Alex's posh voice, some of the content and guests are great though. <laughs> I love it. I love how angry people get. Um, this is uh, by Jumalont. This is entitled So. Appreciate listening to Alex and Tins, uh, their comments and stories. Tend to mute the rest. <laughs> It's muting me. Right. I've said a hair transplant recently. Um, this, there's an article titled, James Haskell has hair transplant. Now he's back on the dating scene following a split from Chloe Maley. Utter bollocks. Um, I, was, I had it booked in two years ago. Well, it's nothing to do with me going dating. But don't let the truth get in a good story. But some great comments. Right. Um, this is from someone called Rocket Nick 69 um, Having spent a lot of time with Hask over the years, it's not necessarily the sort of transplant that was required. I, I mean, <laughs> Nick, I think you're lying. You're lying to make friends on the Daily Mail comment section, which in itself requires some sort of immediate medical attention. Um, I met him, and this is someone else, someone from On T France, this is titled Carefree. I met him once, which was enough, see more brains at a point. <laughs> Sorry. I met him once, which was enough, see more brains in a pork pie. And then people have commented on it, because that's what happens to the Daily Mail, they, they get very excited, because... They, they don't know that they're all that kind of person, but they're in a club together. It's amazing, by the way. Um, and the next one is, brilliant comment. That did make me chuckle. Uh, and then said, yes, great comment. Uh, I will hope to use that myself. Some commentators better than comedians. Oh, dear, oh dear. Um, someone's put, at least pork pies contain real meat. I assume that's, that's, assume that's to do with the fact that I've got fake hair in there. Not a sexual reference. Um, this is a good one. <laughs> I, I always sometimes wear two watches. Uh, don't ask me why. Always done it. I have one Apple Watch, messages, smartphone, data, whatever, and I wear a nice one on the other one sometimes. So I don't know why. I don't care. Um, this is entitled Mrs. Mrs. H43. Why has he got a, a watch on each wrist? I don't know why that's really annoying me. This guy really does believe he's bigger. He's a bigger star than he is or ever will be. <laughs> yeah, the truth. <laughs> The true sign of someone who rates themselves is definitely wearing two watches. Uh, and then someone's put a little comment to join into it. This is Ice Maiden 71. One's digital, the other is split into red and blue for forward and past the hour. Next week's lesson, they start letters. Because obviously I'm a bit of a Neanderthal. Um, right, it's a good one. Um, AW14, he thinks he's so good looking when he's not. He can't argue with that. Uh, someone's put, this, this is the Highlands 1978. I can't stand this chap. Absolute sellout and arrogant with it. Yeah, probably much agree with that. And someone's written underneath it, and so boring. Um, uh, and then someone's written, um, Bunny Bandit, wouldn't go there, no matter what. I love that. Um, well, this is a good one. Margaret McLaug McLaug McLaughlin, why did he walk outside with a gown still on? Um, on so I'll read that again. Why did he walk outside with a gown still on? Attention to him, nobody on the planet would do that. So basically, when you have a hair transplant, you can't put a... Um, t-shirt you can't have pullovers and i flown in from amsterdam because i've been at ade that morning at like six in the morning and i completely forgot that so they put a medical gown on me um because i couldn't leave with i couldn't put anything back on um and i didn't know the press were outside because you don't get paid when when they then they turn up and take photos like you don't get paid for it it's not like a benefit for, for anyone um so it doesn't make any sense like <laughs> i looked awful so anyway that goes around someone's putting this is a great one glorious seven he needs a face transplant I can't argue with that. Um, right, this is this is a great one. Scott Chegg, great player on the name. Uh, my friend joined his F45 training gym in Bath and 
uh, and said James has the most horrific BO. He also used the word Pacific when he actually means specific. What's amazing about this comment, Scott Chang, they put this under most articles about me. There's someone with a vendetta. I actually smell fucking delightful. Um, I would describe it unplayable at times. Just that's one of my big things. Different Arche, Deodorant, always cleanliness. So I've, I've never smelled. But Scotch Egg, I love the rumour because it's a bit like Richard Gere and the hamster rumour. No one, can't, unless you get close to me, you can't deny it. It's perfectly believable. So well done on that one. That's mean comments for today. Thank you so much for tuning and listening. There'll be more. There's always more. Some of them are genius. Some of them are awful. Some of them are harsh. But remember, nobody cares.